Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for June 25th through July 1st, 2018. So let's just take a moment to take a deep breath, relax, and make ourselves very comfortable and clear in our heads of any other thoughts or distractions and just allowing ourselves to be centered in the profound love that resides within your soul. This source of strength, this unconditionalness that is always feeding and nourishing all of your experiences. If you would but allow it or to remember to allow it to flow for you and to know that God is always supporting you in your journey, in any journey that you um, participate in, that you always have this love and support, this backing. You're never without it. And no matter how far you go, or how far sometimes you feel you've strayed from something that you you believe in or something that you truly desired or you were committed to and you possibly in your at some point in your life feel as though that you have lost your way that you've sort of um, lost a connection or that you've you feel a sense of separation from your 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 purpose and your truth and i'm kind of being reminded of the meditation i was just having before this reading and one of the things they were indicating to me the, the dragons were actually showing me um, lines of communication they were showing me the technology of our spiritual um, connection and how the information is sort of transferred. But they were showing me in the symbolism, they were showing me um, sort of almost like branches that just are infinite in all directions. But they were showing me that some of them were in need of repair or some of them actually, not they need to be repaired, but some of them have, have um, broken down. Now, what they were trying to indicate to me and get across to me, um, first I thought, oh, the lines of communication have been broken down, our spiritual lines of communication, because I've been feeling in the last um, month as if, you know, people weren't understanding um, what I was trying to communicate uh, to them. Um, I've been dealing with some, uh, sort of, let's say, a probably shouldn't put that out there, but not because I don't want to share it with you, but I just don't want to um, create any other issues. But it, it's, um, it was just a, a contract a negotiation that was I was working on. And uh, there's so much fear, um, you know, when you're dealing with people on the other side, uh, so much misunderstanding because of you know, things at, that are happening and we we don't necessarily, um, it, it, the, you know, our ego is extremely active on both sides of the table. And it's a lot of misjudgment misunder that's creating a lot of misunderstanding. And it's not to say that, um, that they may, that their agenda does not exist, but to the level that our fear just makes it, um, exaggerates it, and it becomes sort of extreme and intense. Um, what was being fostered was this great sense of fear and lack. And so what the uh, angels were showing me and the dragons were showing me is that what we've been mostly working within um, the communications that have been we've been using the most, um, which is coming from this place of lack. 
So this paradigm of lack, this paradigm of fear, these lines of communication aren't working anymore. So you may have noticed, because I certainly saw it, that um, you find yourself feeling as though you are a victim, um, feeling powerless. And there comes a train of thought, train of thought <laughs> that goes along with this. And this is that mode, modality of communication that is breaking down for us. And rightfully so, because it, it should never have been established. It was not a part of our truth. Um, and it was only creating the difficulties that we have been experiencing in our lives. And so, you know, you've heard me talk about, and so they've got this through to me, you know, because they've been bringing up that the, if the voice of God, if, it, if you could really find one way to uh, recognize when you're receiving messages from God, it would be the voice of inspiration. The voice of inspiration would be um, one clear way to understand when God is speaking to you, providing you with solutions and ideas. And the voice of inspiration, when you think about inspiration, it's fed by, by love. And it's a higher clarity, a higher perspective of for you to make choices, for you to create your own um, outcome. And, and it's, a, it's a profound wisdom. It comes from a very profound wisdom. When you follow inspiration, you are tapping into that creative orchestration of profound love and well-being, prosperity that the universe is always applying towards any desires or prayers that you're seeking and that you're requesting. And this is what they're telling me. So when you go, when you use any other modality of understanding, you're not finding the what you're looking for. And one of the things that this, what's happening is that they're kind of indicating is that this modality of lack is breaking down, this fear-based modality of communicating to, uh, or a way of getting what you want, you know, because we've also learned to manipulate using, you know, fear or victimhood. Um, we, we've, We've created excuses for ourselves. And it, trust me, I'm telling you all of this, but I'm, I'm hearing it as well for the first time um, for myself as well. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's not easy when, when something happens and we are just, you know, confronted with a, a, a large amount of fear. And... It, it just dredges up all this stuff from our past, um, you know, these, and, and what the, it's interesting because you see the ego not being real, <laughs> having any, and never can offer you any, any advice. What it always grabs for is any records from the past and the triggers. It's not trying to sabotage you. It thinks it's helping you to protect you, it's it's showing, it's you know revealing um, caution, you know, and so it'll just go back, and that's what all of a sudden you'll feel like, you know, you're dealing with the same problems, the same issues from your past all over again. You're not. You're in the present. You are you are actually um, in a position of freedom. You're, you just don't know it because instead of allowing your heart to govern and to inspire you, you're allowing your mind to be used by the ego to interpret what is occurring in your life, to reinterpret the freedom. And it just shows you that a freedom 
and infinite possibilities, opportunities, it keeps showing you what you're lacking or what is lacking and, it, and what is lacking within yourself. And when it is able to convince you of this, um, out of its own desperation, you feel its desperation. That's where these things are coming from. Um, then, then you begin to feel powerless. You begin to feel um, like a victim. And this is what I really experienced um, this week to discover when I actually went to this negotiation that I learned some things that weren't completely the truth because the ego can never provide you with any substantial evidence. It only can provide you with, um, I guess, it draws conclusions based on the information that it chooses to, to acknowledge, to read, so to speak. So it's like, you know, the, it's like fake news. Um, in the sense that it gives you what it wants you to, what it sees and the way it wants to see it. And it can't see the truth because it's not coming from a place of reality. Again, the ego's not evil, it's just afraid. And I think this is, for me, what evil really is. It's not an intent to harm per se, I know you, we could argue that, but I'm trying to help you to understand that what people end up, the actions that people end up committing is still based in fear, which is like, you know, being like a little child who doesn't understand a lot of what's going on and just be, learns to become afraid and then that fear cultivates these intentions that eventually do harm you know others like for example you know if you really um learn to be afraid of everything and threatened eventually you're going to lash out at somebody and hurt them because of your fear not because you are a, a, a form of evil. You know, I don't believe any of us is born with this, the, the evil that we think of. We, it is something that fear cultivates. And so in this way, I'm proposing that it's not, you know, this bad, pure through bad, you know, bad that we're, that we battle, it's fear that we battle. And fear is like a type of a system that creates certain kinds of, let's say for example, movies, life experiences, where we're struggling or surviving, where we're constantly being challenged, where there's a lot of hardships and where there's a lot of um, you know, um, harsh judgments and cruelty, but all of that is coming from fear, not so much from something that's evil. I think evil is something that we label fear once it's sort of manifests itself, when, once fear manifests itself into actions that through our perception, ego's perception, has labeled evil. So, so this is something that we need to um, understand that these lines of communication are breaking down. So if you can't find another way, if you can't find a way to tap into that inspiration as your source, it's always been your source, it's, it's as healthy as ever, it's just that we just get, um, we're often deceived or persuaded by our ego who has a good intention of trying to protect you. It thinks it's doing that. But you got to remember, it doesn't understand a lot about the world that or the universe 
of love that was created for you. Because I always tell clients this, the ego is like the size of a speck inside of one of your pores. And I use this example because if you think about how tiny that is, and if you were that speck and everything outside of that is a world of possibilities, a world of potential, but yet you don't understand any of it. They're like the big giants, you know, love. Because why are we, we're, this is why we are so afraid of our power because it's to our ego from when we get, you, when we get in that culture of our ego, it's all frightening, fear. It's not evil, your power, your spirituality, your 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 gifts, your talents, they're not evil. They're you're just afraid of them because you because sometimes we're afraid to step into that power because we are coming from that tiny, tiny, tiny little place. And we see the world with great apprehension from that tiny, 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 tiny little place. So they're giving you the opportunity to connect with the voice of inspiration and they want you to call upon God I mean to really and the angels to really support you to to increase your frequency to increase your awareness your openness of heart to trust in love you know we've really um, become cynical about this this position within our soul we, we we don't trust it because of this fear because of the things that have occurred the choices that have been made and the only reason that we can't move forward is because we keep looking back and looking back is not going to heal you not without the voice of inspiration the voice of peace and understanding supporting you as you look. When you look back to try to find, to figure out the way out, you're not doing that. So this is important for us to recognize. So there are some things that we need to release and there are situations that are happening right now that are helping, that are giving you the opportunity to see you have no need of this way. That you have no need of this way. Do not take what is occurring personally. You are not being put to the, to the test. You've already passed it. It's just that you aren't allowing yourself to experience or receive the results that you've worked so hard to earn. And it is time for you to live in the moment, to live in the present, to live in the wellness and the prosperity and the success that you have already earned, but that you withhold from yourself because you look back and because you keep elevating the voice of lack, your fears over your potential over your abilities and your talents and your gifts. So let's take a look at the card from the Archangel Oracles. Ah, nice card. Love when this card comes up. Gifts from God. And the Archangel Sandophone is the Archangel who carries our prayers to God and helps us to receive the gifts from God, the prayer, the, the, the response. So in this week, no matter how you experience or how you've chosen to experience it, they want you to look with new eyes. Okay, information, they're telling me that you're gonna, information like insights um, will come to you, resources um, that like may come from out of the mouth of someone else um, that will help you to get the information, the understanding that you need, okay, in order to move forward. So 
there you've been dealing with some some obstacles and this is a time where those obstacles are going to be sort of cleared you're you know the, there are challenges that you will seemingly feel like you're going through but there's information that's coming through you wisdom clarity uh, perspective that's going to be of a great support to you and whatever it is that you're afraid of the best thing i can tell you is to go towards that fear because that fear is an illusion it's like a mirage and the further away you step away from it then the more that the mirage can seem even more real walk towards it and you will see that what you discover is not what you were afraid of but you'll see what you've been asking for the truth <laughs> this is what you've really been looking for the truth and if things have been going south or feeling because that's what it is it's feeling like it's been going south for you what you're going to discover is hope this is scary because it's very difficult for us we're so we've been so convinced by our ego um, that okay the fire dragons are coming through and the fire dragons um, are, work with the element of fire obviously and the, the fire dragons can clear I always pray to them to sort of to create a firewall of love around me okay and to clear my path so that you know think of them in in working with Archangel Michael and you know they can clear the energy but they can go even deeper into the lower frequencies and clear out um, things in your ancestral line um, you know they can clear a path of, of ahead of you um, you know just sort of dismantling those um, connections of fear that you've been um, sort of clinging to so you know if you're gonna need some it feels like you're gonna need some help releasing um, some of the fears that you you've held on so tightly to and that you use you use them you you you, you employ them as a part of your support system and because of this they're showing me the word laws as in laws of attraction you get certain um, certain events unfold there are certain consequences but through it all you're still safe and they can help breathe that uh, their th that clarity into your path re to, to, to so that you can clear out those lower frequencies of your fears they're just the manifestations of your own f fear your beliefs and uh, allow you the uh, things that they're writing that you've been coping you you're, you've been using these fears to cope it's like an addict and they want to help you to no longer be dependent upon this this kind of observation fear okay so this is a this is a gift I feel one of the gifts um, that is being offered to you from God is to access to the these dragons the the, the, the fire dragons they can help you they're showing me to and God is showing me that it can really help you to get up off of your cross can help you to you 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 erect crosses all around you the, these are when you feel these obstacles and when you're afraid and they're writing the word fever as in um like like it's pitching it's getting to a very high point where you're really starting to um feel overwhelmed with a number of fears and you're feeling kind of blocked um and you're you're just really experiencing the consequences of not being conscientious of how of the laws um, and and I know because it's not easy for any of us it's a struggle but this kind of support you will find that will help really uh, clear 
and help settle some things down and open up um, your heart to your own truth and your own soul's reality, which is based in a profound legacy. The word I'm seeing is legacy of love. It's ex it's, this legacy is so established, it's never been broken. Never, not once. We have lost that connection because we were using something that was not meant to be. And so if you've been finding that you've have having you know difficulties communicating and people understanding you like you're you're like on a different wavelength hello you really are um and so therefore and some of you may say well i've been you know doing all the work and blah and yeah and you know that has elevated your frequency making it more difficult for you to use the lower frequencies of fear so when you do it creates an even greater contrast because you have been sort of you know elevating upward in your in your, in your frequency and dimensions you're you're not always stuck in the three dimensional framework the mental framework but we dip in and out but you have been accessing more often higher frequencies which means you can't rely on those that network that network is outdated you need to to you know let it you know, you want to rip it out, but the thing is, is just stop using it and it will just evaporate eventually. It will just dissolve itself, dissolve into nothing, okay, from which it came, all right? So, and they're writing the word surface. So, um, something is going to surface, a new wave of energy. Um, they're saying it's a new wave of energy is surfacing on the planet itself, and so Archangel Metatron, um, and this is what they're writing out, Archangel Metatron is overseeing this new um, wave of energy. And so this is a, one of the gifts that you're going to be receiving in this week, this energy wave that Archangel Metatron is overseeing. It's a, um, an ascension frequency. It will help to realign communications for you. This is what... I'm seeing written out, um, and you're entering into this phase. So you have to release this week. You have to let go. This is a huge transformation for you. It's happening on very deep levels. This is what they're writing of your um, consciousness. They're writing the word egg. So the, the, it's giving me a sense of symbol for a rebirth will be beginning in your within yourself. This is more like a, it's a rebirth, but it's more like a re um, connection with your soul and a leaving behind what they're saying of the stuff that you've been um, working with, the, the, the efforts, um, leaving behind those, those challenges. Okay, so let's take a look at the card it feels like they, that car won't stop <laughs> with the information. So let's see if we can go on uh, so we won't run out of time. All right. And we have the three of earth. And you know, the, the first thing I kind of felt when I saw this card is that learning to work with others. You know, um, this is something, this is going to be a huge part of this week is that we need to, we're going to need to learn how to work together to get things done. We're gonna to have to learn how to communicate differently. We're gonna to need to learn how to listen and observe differently. So when that new wave of energy comes through, it's gonna help you, okay? It's gonna help you, um, give you that clarity to reflect, not to look at yourself in the past and criticize, but to reflect, to see the contrast, to see what was, and to see what is possible. And it's something that you can get excited about. You know, and um, I think they're gonna be examples. They're writing out the word example, so I'm getting a feeling like you're gonna see examples of this happening around you. And 
um, like they're writing the word affection. So you're going to see sort of, um, so, sort of displays of affection that's going to trigger this active, it's going to trigger an activation of these um, higher codes of dimensions within you. You know, you're multidimensional and you're, every dimension exists within you as it exists within the universe, as it exists within God, because God created you, et cetera, and so forth, and so there. So this is now, it's just about activating more of the facets and an affection that you're going to witness are, is going to activate this for you and give you this code of being able to work together within the various communities that you exist within or that you are uh, participate within, okay? Whether it's your work or your family. Um, so... Uh, we you're gonna see or experience an an activation of this, okay? And this is what's gonna be really important for you to um in this week. It is especially the beginning of the week, but I'm feeling just it's a beginning for a new trend part of this transition where you will f rediscover better ways to um to get things done to communicate in order to get things done. And, you know, um, your, your creativity, your, 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 the things that you're passionate about, your, your career and things like this, these, these are the areas where the voice of inspiration really touches us um, in a very personal way because our desire to, cre to create and express ourselves uniquely um, we we often turn inward into our soul to bring this out. We know we can't just conjure this or copy this from uh, the world around us because we know it's something unique and individualized about each one of us. And so we really look within. And that's why when we in this when it pertains to our our gifts, we easily more readily turn to the voice of inspiration. Now let's take a look at the card for, it's coming up for the middle of the week. Okay, that's interesting. So these two cards came right from the top and this one came with it. So this is giving me a sense of, you know, um, holding back and, you, you know, this is going to be part of the struggle because your ego is going to be afraid of this new way of operating and communicating. And so um, one of the things I'm, I'm hearing is that in doing this, you will find new opportunities for support financially um, and you know just career-wise, you'll find for the new resources will be available to you so you don't have to feel like you are lacking, that you don't have enough. And so in this energy, you find solutions for moments when you feel like you got to hold on and that you can't, um, you know, spend too much or you can't um, give away too much of your time or your focus you know, it, it kind of makes you feel isolated. It, it, it makes you detach. And so this is something that um, you have to be aware of, that, that you could be triggered in this way. But just know that this is that opening up and, and, and being activated by the affections that you're seeing, being activated by love and the various forms that you will witness is what I'm really feeling strongly, that it is not, do not become cynical about this. Trust it. If we're going to hold on to anything, hold on to love. Don't ever let it go. But know that, that it's meant to also flow. And if love is meant to flow, you, you, you're supposed to keep yourself focused upon it. Not hold it, but focused upon it and direct it and use it so that it will bring more 
And wow, as just as they say this, look at this. And talking about legacy of love and what the love of legacy really does create is assurance in this world, the, the pentacles, is it the legacy of love brings wealth and there in its all of its forms as it was intended from the beginning of creation, which is for you to have no sense of lack, but every bit of your potential is unlimited. Every bit of what you can have in your experiences is unlimited. Success, joy, opportunities. And so as you learn, to, as you accept this new, the new frequency uh, that's coming through, this new way that's surfacing, you will be accepting this new um, understanding that will allow you to shift in your approach to, you know, to no longer um, utilize those lines of lack in order to get what you want. It's like you. It's like a get around. Like you were trying to circumvent your or get around this, and not that you were trying to not allow yourself to have the best, but it's just that the belief was it's not possible. So you were constantly um, working to get something as if it was not available or as if it wasn't ever an option for you. And in believing that, you worked against yourself. You built a resistance. You established the res resistance that you're experiencing. You charged it and you lit it and you had to live it because you are a masterful uh, manifester. You always are getting what you're creating. And when you're not, when you don't like it, because there's no such thing as not getting, but when you don't like it, then change your, your attitude, your perspective, and your focus. You see? All right. Don't seek the truth. Because if you're experiencing something you don't like, then you're not allowing yourself to experience your truth. All right, so let's take a look at the card I've already pulled from the bottom of the deck. Well, this is interesting. The lover's card, talking about love and um, really not being cynical about this. And so the, this is the underlying message, a healing. Uh, so Archangel Raphael represents this card here, um, the energy of this card. A healing of, and I feel like this is a, an intimate relationship with yourself, you know, like a healing, a reacquainting, finding, finding your, your truth, your purpose, finding your connection with the voice of inspiration again, with the universe, um, with all the opportunities, getting on a, a healthier path as you recognize how, and so you may recognize when in this week, you know, you may recognize going forward, the ways in which you use lack um, or victimization, these things um, that just keep creating um, these obstacles between you and others and you and the th experiences that you truly desire. So let me just tune into this card and just see what um, additional information is coming up. And they're just showing me um, new actions of love, you know, that you're going to be taking steps to repair um, the lack, the beliefs of lack you've had, that you're going to have an, an awareness of how to no longer create with that app, that tool in your, in your process. And you're going to be discovering ways to set that aside to not activate that by just giving it attention and by um, drawing upon it as a way to resolve the things that are conflicting for you. Okay, so a lot of huge messages here. Um, 
there <laughs> and showing me somebody working out at the gym, um, lifting the uh, barbell. And, and, and one of the things I think that's really helpful, and I know because I had kind of gotten away from going to the gym regularly. And so the last two weeks, I have been going five days a week. And it really um, changed my state of the health of my state of mind. So it's, you know, it really, um, there were things that like I was struggling with, with like with my appetite um, and just all kinds of things that as soon as I started working out, and I, but the first thing I did is just, I stopped looking for an excuse. And maybe this isn't, this doesn't apply to everybody, but it, the, what I'm saying can apply to all situations especially the ones that you know that are important and are healthy for you, even if you don't feel motivated. But the thing is, is to, to not, I just decided to not make any more excuses about, you know, looking for an excuse is what I was doing. Like, oh, I guess I can't go today because of this. Or should I go today? No. Yeah. Don't look for uh, excuses when there's something that you know is important for you to do because your ego will find them for you. And so, but the thing that I really think that's really important about working out um, or some kind of exercise daily, at least is that majority of the week, is that you will find that your mental state will automatically begin to improve and things that you were struggling with, you no longer see or half the, you no longer see the, well, how do you say it? it what it came out was that there was no longer the effort, no longer existed that I was in certain situations that I was struggling with. So it's very important at this time, if you want to keep up with your frequency, and I don't put say this to you to make you feel upset or to make you feel like, oh God, I know Barry, but I can't. It's just so, you know, I, it's so hard for me to exercise. Do whatever kind of exercise, if it's walking, something, even if it, you do it for five minutes and you just knew that you kept your commitment to that, it'll make you feel good. And, and doing that exercise or whatever it is that you end up doing will make you feel good because it's moving energy is what the exercising does. And as we're processing a lot of energies that's coming in, these new energies, they're really ancient energies, rather, that we just disconnected from them. And so in order to connect in with them and to really be able to ride the frequency of them, we need to elevate our physical body. There's a connection between the mind and the body and the soul. It's just, we know it. And... When your body feels good, your mind alters its course from the, the suffering and the pain, and it finds that ray of hope you're looking for. So this is what I leave you with as the advice from personal experience. If you've been finding yourself struggling emotionally and or just a little bit of depression, or then exercise is really something that you should put in your calendar, like a meal that you do it every day, um, something. All right. So I send you lots of love and angel blessings. Thank you all for your comments and for joining us here each week. If you're looking for an angel reading, you can go to my website, theangelschool.com on the services page. That link is below the video, the daily card messages, which will go deeper into the messages from the angels and your higher self. Um, will be the daily card message on my Facebook page. Go there. There's a link below the video here where you can click on there and um, keep up with those daily card messages Monday through Friday. And also you can access this through Twitter, the videos and those writings. So have a beautiful week and God bless you all.